What's up everyone? Alright, so I managed to uh, figure out how to get Xlink Kai to work on Linux operating systems. Um, I ended up using Lubuntu on a virtual machine on my Windows 8.1 OS since I decided not to install Linux separately. Alright, so uh, using the virtual machine I managed to get Lubuntu installed and figured out how to get Xlink Kai to work. Okay guys, so make sure that you have something that's sim similar to Ubuntu. Um, I believe Ubuntu in general it will work fine. Uh, of course there's different flavors of Linux and Ubuntu that's available, uh, but most should work fine for you. <clears throat> Alright guys, so uh, to start off, what you need to do is to open up a web browser, which in this case is going to be Firefox for me. And we're going to go and download the uh, Xlink Kai program from teamxlink.co.uk. Okay, once we arrive here, we're going to click on the Downloads tab at the top. And it will not auto detect, most likely, it will not auto detect the OS that you're running. Alright, um, so in this case, you'll need to go to the drop down box and click Linux. For x86, this is also basically this also means Linux for 32-bit platform. Okay, um, I haven't tried this with 64-bit. Lubuntu is is a 32 32-bit. Excuse me. So, uh, not too sure how well its performance is going to be with that. But remember that this is beta build. It is not officially supported by Xlink as well. So there's limited support in regards to how the program runs. All right. So once you get the download done. Uh, in my case, I'm going to go ahead and click on my download bar and then click the open containing folder button so I can see to make sure my files here. I have previously downloaded on my computer, um, which is you know, perfectly fine. If you already have a copy, that's okay. Uh, we're just going to go through how to, to actually get this running on the computer. All right, so uh, once you get the file, I'm actually going to delete these so I can go through it completely through steps. Once you get the file downloaded, right click on it and go to extract here or to extract to and extract it uncompress the file into a folder. Once that folder is created, double click in here and make sure that you see Kai Engine and README. You only see two files within the folder. Alright, now you're going to have to go to your launcher button and go to accessories or whatever you need to do to go to your favorite terminal program. Okay, so whatever program that uh, issues command line interface, use that. In my case, it's going to be LX Terminal. Okay, once the terminal is up, you will need to go into root, or at least temporary root. So to do this, what you have to do is type sudo, S-U-D-O, space, SU and press enter. When it asks for the pseudo password for your user account name, which in this case is going to be Terry for me, uh, this is going to be asking for your user account that's logged into Ubuntu or Linux, whatever flavor of Linux you're using. This is not asking for the root password and this is not asking for your Kai password. This is asking for the user account that is you're currently logged into on Ubuntu or Linux. Okay? So in this case I want to type in my password now. You will notice that when you type in your password the boxer here will not move. Okay, so you're just gonna have to type basically by heart. Now the the input is going through and once you press enter, if it is correct, you will see root at your username and you'll also see this pound sign. This pound sign means you're currently with root privileges. Once you have root privileges, you're good to go. Okay. All right. Now, um, if you do run into issues with getting root privileges, you will need to consult your uh, flavor of Linux website or forums to figure out how to get root access because you're. I'm pretty sure you're going to need that to get the Kai engine running. 
All right, now once we have that situated, we're going to need to browse to where the Kai Engine is located, where you just download it, and where you just extracted the folder to. All right, so in my case, I extracted in my downloads folder. So to issue a terminal command, you will need to type cd, this stands for change directory, downloads, in my case. But in this case, this will be for wherever you download it to. Press enter after that. And if it is correct, it will now say your username, downloads, pound. If it says, um, like, no such directory exists or cannot find file or directory, then you probably mistyped something. Once you get to the directory, if you have more directories that you need to go to, type those in now. Since the Kai Engine was extracted to its own folder, I'm going to need to go into the Kai Engine folders uh, specifically. So I'm going to type in change directory, and this has to be spelled exactly even with capitalizations. Kai Engine dash 7.4.28. Once you have your spelling correct, press enter. If you if you did it right you'll be presented with now username downloads slash Kai engine dash 7.4.28 pound once you have that now you need to type the command to launch the program the Kai engine program type sudo dot forward slash Kai engine press enter. If you did it right, it should say initializing excellent Kai engine. And in this case, since I actually have my engine running, it uh, didn't come up exactly. So let me close that out here. Um, now what we're going to see is uh, to make sure I got this correct. What you're going to see is you're going to actually see initializing Kai Engine, and then it's going to say um, Excellent Kai Engine is rocking, or Engine is rocking, and then it's going to say uh, IP address. The IP address is going to say something along the lines of 127.0.0.1, port number 34522. Okay, you do not type this in here. What you do is you take that address that the Kai Engine gave you. And go back to your web browser. And you're going to type that address in exactly the way it was typed out. Okay. I'm just waiting for my Firefox to come up. Okay. So it was HTTP colon slash slash 127.0.0.1 colon 34.5.2.2. If done correctly, you will be presented with the Kai General Chat. Since I was in here earlier, it already brought me to back where I was. So this is what you're going to see if you have the engine up and running and you typed in the correct address. Okay? And you're also going to be presented with the login box, username, password, and configure Xlink Kai. What I want you to do is I want you to hit the configure Xlink Kai button instead of logging in. If for some reason you got to this part but didn't see the blue little blue box that would have appeared right here. All I have to do is click up in this upper left upper left screen where the green dotted circle is. Just click within it and that will bring you into the configuration tool. Now there's only a few things you need to do in here but this part is really important. The network adapter needs to be set to whatever the network adapter uh, whatever the Ethernet port name is on your computer. This is assuming that your Xbox is being directly connected to your computer via Ethernet. If you have your Xbox connected to your router via Ethernet, and then your computer is also connected to your router via Ethernet, then you would still want to use the Ethernet port. All right. If your Xbox is connected to your router via Ethernet, and your computer is connected to your router via Wi-Fi, you will need to select a WLAN port or something similar to the spelling. 
Well, this part you may have to play around with it and toggle through your network adapters. By default, it will say auto detect. I do recommend switching to the exact port that you're using that your Xbox should be communicating with. Okay? So in this case, mine is going to be Ethernet 0 since I'm plugged in directly. Leave port 0, leave deep port undefined, leave the web UI port 34522. You do not have to put anything for, into proxy server. And make sure that you check the enable PAT. This is called packet address translation and it may improve the NAT connectivity with other players. At the top, where default profile, default profile is located, just leave this blank. Character set, leave Western. Language, leave English, unless you really need to change that part. That's up to you. The engine settings. The default X tag and default password. If you actually, if you feel comfortable or your computer is completely just your computer alone, you can go ahead and type in your X tag and password here. If you do not have an X tag already and a password, you will need to go to Team X Link dot co dot uk and click at the upper top of the screen upper portion of the screen sign up if you already have an account with xlink ignore this step for those who don't please follow this step you will need to create an x tag password uh, password confirm your password an email location age and bandwidth Every field that has an asterisk needs to be filled out. For the email, this is really important. If you have an Outlook, a Hotmail, an MSN, a Live, or a Yahoo account, do not use those account at this time. There seems to be an issue with Xlink sending out registration emails to these servers. I highly recommend using Google because one, it is easy to set up, and two, it will definitely work. Anyways, once you have an email account that is usable, make sure you put in the email address field and fill that stuff out. The rest of the stuff is not necessary. If you want to fill out some of that, go right ahead. And once you're done, click the submit button. And once that is done, you will still go to another page that says that your registration email was sent. Go to your email that you signed up with. If you did not see the email for the registration, give it a couple minutes. But if you do not see it in your primary inbox, check your spam folder I actually had that happen before so make sure to check your spam folder before making the assumption that the email didn't go through because more than likely it did if you're using an account that is not one listed on this part right here okay okay now once you have your account registered and verified you would go back in here and if you want to put your username and password in here for the sake of the computer pretty much being only for your access only go right ahead now if you're going to do this you will need to check the auto login checkbox so that every time you start up Kai once you type in the web address the 127.0.0.1 address the engine will automatically log you in and you do not you do not be prompted to put in your username and password anymore all right also make sure that close engine after is set to never. Close engine when UI closes should actually be checked. Allow remote UI connections should be checked. For anyone coming from a different OS video guide that I made for either Macintosh or Windows operating systems, you will notice that I mentioned in those videos that allow remote UI connections does not need to be checked, but in Linux or Ubuntu it does make sure this box is checked. I believe it is already checked by default. The close engine when UI just basically means is once you close the tab out the engine should shut itself down. Okay, You can leave auto open chat unchecked if you like to have it to where it goes straight into the chat mode. Go right ahead. Once you're done with that click save. Now the engine will refresh and go back to the the general chat. And at this point, make sure that your Xbox or Xbox 360 is up and running. And that you're in the system link lobby of the game. In this case, I'm going to be doing Halo 2. So at this point, I'm in Halo 2's available games, or system link games, and I'm at the available games menu. 
currently it is only displaying create new game because I'm not in any games that is available. Xlink displays games in a directory kind of way. It is one of the major differences between that and XBC for anyone coming off of Windows. To get to the game, you need to go to the Game Arenas button at the top. Then you'll be presented with a list of consoles. Select your console. In my case, I'm going to select Xbox. Now, I had questions about this. Do I select Xbox or do I select 360 based on the system I'm actually using? Select the system that the game was originally made for. Halo 2 will run on Xbox 360, but since the game was originally made for original Xbox, you will need to select the original Xbox icon. Once that is done, you will need to go to the genre of the game, which in my case will be first person shooter. And now you're presented with a list of games that they support. So you'll scroll, scroll down, define Halo 2, and click that. Once you reach here, you'll be presented with the region of, of areas that you want, or that you want to find players at. Pick the region that you're closest to. Now you can pick like Latin America or whatever, it's perfectly fine, the game, uh, X-Link's not going to hate you or anything of that sort, it just helps make it make it so that you have a higher, uh, better ping rate with players of, within your country. Um, I'm going to pick Latin America just so that I can actually see if I can find the games quickly. And I'm, then I'm going to go to Solo Redos because as you see there's a lot of players in this lobby. Once you arrive to Solo Redos, for example, and you see a bunch of players in your game. This is what is considered the public arena. At this time, you can actually hop to your Xbox and check and see if games start to just magically fill up. Once you start seeing games starting to show down a list, you're pretty much good to go and start attempting to connect to any of the games that are showing up in the list. If you do not see games showing up, you may need to go back into the Kai configuration tool and recheck your network adapter. Also as a note, if your Xbox has a static IP set to it, this is mainly coming from the 360, if your Xbox 360 has a static IP set to it for whatever reason before, make sure you go back into your network settings in the 360 and set your IP and DNS back to automatic. That is a really important factor because if that is not set to automatic, there's a good chance that your computer won't communicate with the Xbox and it won't it will not see it in in that case. Okay, so um, I'm in the Latin America lobby and I'm actually seeing games showing up in my my Xbox right now. And at this point, all I have to do is just join the games that I want to play. All right, so this video was uh, just a recap. This video was how to set up. Excellent Kai on Linux based operating systems. Um, I'm actually using Lubuntu over virtual machine on my Windows 8.1 operating system, but it does work perfectly fine. Uh, just for those who use a virtual machine, you will need to potentially configure some extra steps within your virtual machine server. Um, you'll have to look into that more. If you need questions about that, let me know. Uh, it took me a while to actually figure that part out. Like especially setting up the network adapters so that I can actually communicate in Lubuntu. Alright, so anyways guys, thanks for watching this video. If you need any help, please feel free to comment below. And you can also reach me on my Twitter handle, which will be located in the video description. Alright, thanks guys, and I hope to see you online.